Anaya's father, Caleb, is a waste of space. He's going to work at his little pizza job that he has and then not come and see the baby because that's really fair to her, right? As a 25-year-old, I feel like I'm doing the best I can do. I am a good dad. Caleb is a bum. He doesn't work full time. He doesn't take care of Anaya. He comes and goes a couple days a week, sometimes even longer. He went how many months? Nine months without seeing her at one point, Sam. Why do you keep bringing up the stupid past? It's pattern. It's not past. It's pattern because he does it all the time. I live about two hours away from Anaya and Sam, but I still come down every week. Caleb treats Sam like a doormat, hardly gives her any money to support the baby, and doesn't spend enough time with the baby. Whatever I'm doing, Lisa just expects more and more. He says he loves Anaya, but coming once or twice a week and just giving her candy or trying to get her to drink sodas, it's not enough. When I see Caleb with Anaya, he's a very good dad. He plays with her, makes her laugh and smile. She adores him. I feel like Lisa needs to be supportive because I'm the father of Anaya and Sam chooses to be with me. I don't mind that Caleb comes over to visit and be with the baby, but I don't feel that he needs to have a relationship with Sam. It's been three years he hasn't gotten it right, and three times he's left ya. It's twice he left me. I don't like Caleb, and I think Sam can do better. Well, Caleb, she's not a big fan of yours. No. Uh, so you don't live in the same town? I don't live in the same town, no. What's more important, two and a half hours away than your daughter? Nothing's more important. We just can't live together, and it's not in a position to where I can up and move down right now. So instead of living in the toxic environment with them and contributing to it, because obviously it would get worse if I was there because she can't stand me, it's best that we don't live in the same house right now. Yeah, well, I agree with that. Okay. Well, but this last time when she was dating someone else and he wanted her back and said that he would do anything to get her back. He would move back in with us. He would hold his tongue. He would do whatever it took so that he could see his baby every day. And I told him, come on. You don't say, you are a waste of space, lump, worthless. Come on. <laughs> For my granddaughter, yes, I do. That's not going to work. I mean, you can't stand him sitting there.